How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we'll be checking out the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss. Now before we get started guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe down below for more content, and let's jump right into it. So first off, we'll start with the key. You have your lock, unlock, remote start, tailgate, and panic button functions on it. On the LT Trail Boss, you have a two inch lift with the off-road suspension, wheels and tires, blacked out front grille with a black Chevy bow tie, two red tow hooks, very sharp looking front end. Also does have some very cool looking headlights. You can see the lights right there. Added hood scoop up top. Gives it a nice appearance with the gray and black. Here's those off-road wheels and tires. So you have Goodyear Wranglers on it. These are 18 inch wheels. Also do have the twin tube Rancho shocks all the way around. Z71 skid plates. You have the black door handles with the remote access function. So you just press this button to lock it or unlock it with the key in your pocket. Got your Trail Boss stickers in the back. Dual chrome exhaust tips, blacked out bumpers. We'll go ahead and lower the tailgate down with the key. Inside you have the Chevrolet spray-in bed liner. You also do have this 120 volt outlet that you can cut on and hook up stuff to. It also does have the multi-pro tailgate. So it'll go down like that. You can also put your hand in, use it as a step. And you also do have the lever right here that you can pull up. So when you're stepping up into the bed, you can pull yourself up with the handle, nice and safe. Let's go ahead and put that back down. And if you lift the tailgate up, you can use this part as a load stop or maybe a little table whatever you want to do with it, but it is a very cool feature. This is the button to lower down that multi-pro tailgate. So the top one just lowers that portion and then the bottom one lowers the whole tailgate. Got your trailer cameras, trailer hookups, all that good stuff back there. Nice big step on the side. Has the easy fill gas cap. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the back seats. So inside the LT Trail Boss, everything is fully leather. It's nice leather seating with the storage behind the seats. Got your cup holders in the middle seat. USB-C and USB connections with the two air vents in the back. Tons of space, tons of headroom back there. Not a bad place to sit at. And if you lift the seats up, you do have a little bit of storage underneath with all of your tools to get the spare tire out. Go ahead, take a seat up front. We'll take a look at some interior features. So as soon as you jump in, you can see the Trail Boss graphic come up on the screen. With the cinematic footage. So that you know you're driving the Trail Boss. So to get it started, you just put your foot on the brake, hit the start button, and she comes to life. Now there's a ton of buttons up here, so we'll go through everything pretty fast. Starting with the driver's door, this does have the Bose audio system, which sounds great. You have all of your mirror adjustments for the side mirrors. They also do have the blind spot. So that little car right there will light up orange if something's in your blind spot. You have your electronic parking brake. To use that, you put your foot on the brake. Push it once for on and then push it again for off. All of your four wheel drive controls. 
you also do have your different drive modes. So you have sport, off-road, and normal. And you can change those by twisting that left or right. All of your four-wheel drive controls are just push button, as well as your light controls. Everything's pretty much automatic. You have your bed lights, all that good stuff in one place. All of your cruise control functions. This is your forward collision distance adjuster. You have a heated steering wheel. This is to control the main menu up here. So you can scroll through everything, so your trip mileage, timer, tire pressure, oil life, brake pad life, everything you need to know about the vehicle in one place. Now, if you go to the left, you can change the left side info, right side info, change the lower gauges, everything is fully customizable. You also do have your audio, navigation, phone, and settings on the screen as well. You also can see your fuel range, how many miles the vehicle has on it. So this one has four miles. And you can see if the electronic parking brake is on or not. So right now it'll show you we're in normal mode sitting in two-wheel drive. Also do have paddles on the side for manual shifting, so you can downshift or upshift. Also behind here, you have these two little paddles. The top one is to turn the volume up, the bottom one is to turn the volume down. And on the other side, this is to scroll through your presets. So if we go into audio, see all of your presets in one place at the bottom here so it'll switch through those now with the screen this has Google Maps built in you have your audio tab which has your AM FM Sirius XM Bluetooth all of your music in one place you also do have the um, phones that you can pair for the Apple CarPlay Android Auto Bluetooth all that stuff and this also does have this surround view camera so you can see all the way around you you can see in front of you, you can see behind you, you can see the bed, you can see your front left tire, and you also do have a direct hitch view for hooking up trailers and stuff like that. So, very cool. You also do have your trailering app where you can set up your trailers, climate, all your settings for the vehicle, Wi-Fi hotspot through OnStar, and the MyShare Lay app. So, tons of features. On the screen takes a while to get used to this is the power so you can push that to mute it or push it back on to cut it back on and you also do have a home button so this is the lane keep assist button if you cut that on which is indicated by the orange light it'll slowly pull you back in your lane you also do have your front and back parking sensors that you can turn on or off the automatic stop start if you stop at a stoplight or a stop sign the vehicle will cut itself off to help save gas you can also lower the tailgate, hazards, traction control, hill descent, and this button right here lowers down all the windows in one push. You got your trailer brake controller. You can see the gain in the main screen. You can also turn that up or down. You have heated seats, automatic climate controls. This is dual zone, so you can see the passenger side is 86. Mine is on low. So all of that is in one place. Couple chargers, USB-C, regular USB. You also do have not one, but two glove boxes. So this one up top has a little bit of storage in it. And this one down at the bottom has some more. So very nice seating arrangements up here, full leather seats. You also do have the sunroof on this particular vehicle. All of your sunroof controls are at the top. So this one in the middle here is for your sliding rear glass window so you can open that or close it you also do have home link for opening up your garage this will slide the sunroof open and closed and you can also tilt it up of course i'll show you that and you can tilt it back down so manually open or close it Lots of storage up here, which I love. You can put your keys, phone, wallet, everything up here in one place. Um, this one also does have the uh, wireless charger, so you can set your phone right there and it'll charge it. You got a couple more USB-C and USB chargers, as well as a three-prong. And you also do have this little container right here for holding stuff. 
and a super deep storage compartment. So really nice center console. You also do have the electronic shifter. So there's a button on the left side that you hold. You can pull back for drive, pull back again for L mode, push up for reverse. You can see your surround view cameras again, and you just push the P for park. That's pretty much everything on the inside, guys. Just give you one last look around. And we'll take one last look around the exterior of the vehicle. So MSRP on this particular one is around $68,000. But guys, let me know down below how you guys enjoyed the video, what you guys think of the 2024 LT Trail Boss. I have a ton more videos coming out of all the new 24 models, so stay tuned for that. But look at this, guys. What a great looking truck. But if you have any questions or anything, feel free to post them below. I'll try my best to answer all of them. Make sure you guys like this video again, subscribe down below so I can send you guys some more stuff, and I'll see you next time.